Rab Boisai. The lighting is a little off. Okay. I am back in Chicago, Baruch Hashem. There's one very positive thing about Chicago. Besides the unbelievable cash that everybody asks me here. But you get an extra hour. In New York, it's 12.15. It's crazy. I mean, by the time... I didn't go to sleep before 3 o'clock every single night. So I was like... So now it's going to be 2 o'clock. All right. Lili Nishma Asimi. Rusbas Mordechai. And um, I didn't print out the sponsorships or the emails. Baruch Hashem, I was able to print out the... Uh, the charts in New York, so at least that. But Bezer Hashem tomorrow, I think we'll just make up for those who I was supposed to hang up for today. Listen to the sponsorship, beautiful. Schos of Atzloch of our son Yisrael in 12th grade, as he begins the winter's morning yeshiva day, Yisrael should find the chiyos and simchas hachayim from his learning and he should grow in his avidus Hashem. Ah, great parents, listen to this. He's a wonderful source of nachas to us and to all around him. The Ashkenazis. The Ashkenazis. Mark, you're the man. It's a beautiful way. It's beautiful. I hope he sees this. Now, unfortunately, I didn't print it, but tomorrow I'll put it up in his chus. So tell him to, to look around. And listen to this. This is from the Clifton Yid. He was supposed to meet me in New York. I drazed around a lot in New York. But he's sponsoring... In memory of Reb Eli's dear friend and Balz Daka, Yoni Cohen, Zechariah Levracha. Terrible, terrible tragedy. He was buried. I mean, he, the Levi was studying in Chicago, and they, he's on his way to Israel now. And my good friend Avi Kamlar is flying in tomorrow, and I'm going to have the schus to host him, Be'ez Hashem. But, all right. And uh, one email, and this I, I'm taking off somebody's phone here. This is from Ronnie Sterling. Just wanted to check in with you. I like that. People should check in with me once in a while. I got nervous. I thought Lave is gone for good. You know, once in a while, check in, say hello. I'm still with the DAF, and I really appreciate all your preparation and effort to keep it interesting. I'm now learning, I'm new to learning Gemara, but I've been with you since January, and I'm sort of in a groove with the DAF. That's what it is. You get into a groove, and you move. I got a recharge on Erevin, Daf, Samachay, when you were discussing the mitzvah points that are available to everyone from learning at whatever level they are. Somewhere in there, somewhere in my, my schmooze over there. Keep up the great effort and I hope to join you live by June 7th, 2027. Yeah, sure, I didn't get it. I, I'm just hopping it now. 2027, I guess that's on the cruise. That's on the cruise. So there we finish. Yeah. All right, Rabbi Yisai. Today is Dav Samach Vav. Thank you for your phone. Yishur Kayach. Thank you again, Eli Dykman. It's unbelievable. I see him every single day on the screen. Top, top screen. He gets the top spot. But he's not just on Zoom. He's, he was Oim Rabbi Yisai. He came to Farakwa every day. He set it up. Somebody asked me if I brought him from Mary's I'm serious. Like a guy in the... Uh, Rabbi Groner, I think it was. He says, Who's that guy that was setting up for you? Is that, is that, he brought him from Eretz Yisrael. Now that's Eli Daikman, so Yishkoyach for Eli. And he shipped me off with a great bottle of wine. It was beautiful. All right. It was great to be in New York, in that whole area over there. Great to see the Oilam in Muncie and in Borough Park. It was, you know what it means to go to a place in this 30 Shtraimelach? Everybody's in Shtraimel. Besides Yisrael Shalitsky. Everybody's in Shtraimel. You feel like a foreigner, but it was, you felt the love. You felt, this, I'm telling you, this guy comes over. I work in a cell phone store. Here, this, I have a whole bag of stuff that he got. Here. I, I didn't bring it for him, but all these Zachen, and I, I left the charger at home. And here's my the Shtenda. i got to show you the Shtenda real quickly before we start. It's very, very important. This is a back scratcher, but it's also a Shtenda. Uh, but kids are... Don't ask Kashas. It is. It's an amazing thing. So, Rabbi said, let's go. I don't know what to do with this light. It's kind of a funny light. I don't know if you could dim it or something, but okay. We are holding on Daf Samach Vova and Aleph. Tobo Nahardoi, the top line. What's going on? We had a Maisa on a Geshefft where there were Jews in an inn owned by a non Jew. Let's see if I have a picture. Did I not bring the picture? No, yesterday's picture. Still, I should have brought it. But you guys know the case. 
There are a bunch of Jews in an inn. And the guy shows up on Shabbos. What do you do? Shows up on Shabbos. So, Rabbi Yochanan says what you do is, you rent from the guy on Shabbos, and everybody else does what we call bittel. The mevatel, the rishos, they relinquish the rishos to one guy in there. It doesn't help them very much, but it helps that one guy. So that's what we had. Tauba nahardai. So nahardai, they were wondering what's going on here. Mi Rabbi Yochanan hachi? V'omer Rabbi Yochanan. Can't be that Rabbi Yochanan said this. Rabbi Yochanan says, Soicher kima'arev dami. Person who rents has the same halachas as a person that makes an Eruv. My love, L'chayra, he's talking about a Chumrah. Why would he be saying a Kula? He's saying a Chumrah, that what? Ma'ma'arev mi'ba'idiyah. Just like an Eruv only takes place on a Friday, you can't make an Eruv on a Shabbos. I'm soicher mi'ba'idiyah. So, you can't rent from a guy. It doesn't help renting from a guy on Shabbos. L'chari, that's what he's trying to say. Loi. In fact, Rabbi Yechon is coming to say kulas, not just one kula, but a whole slew of kulas. Three kulas here. That what? Ma ma'arev vafilu pachz mishav pruta. That's Allah we already learned. You can make an Eruv with less than a pruta. So too, when you rent, you don't have to pay a pruta. Just like we learned halacha by ma'arev. That if you have a guy sitting around and ruining the era for you, so you can make a deal with the sachar velakit, the guy, the, the helper of the guy, the Jew that works for the guy, Either he works for the whole year, or he works for the season. You do a deal with him. You make an Erev, he makes an Erev, and it's as if the guy made an Erev. In other words, there's one property in the middle of your chutzr that's ruining it for everybody, one house. That house is not a problem, because in the house, the back room is, is uh, occupied by a Jew that works for the guy, and that Jew is going to do the Erev for us. Great. So too, a guy... I hear, what's, is that Ari Weil coming up the stairs? Okay. So, the Schira Lekitoi of a guy, Rashi says it could be a guy. In other words, now we're not talking about a Jewish helper because you need a Jew to make an Erev. But you need somebody to rent out. So you have a guy that works for the guy and he lives in the house and he has a little room. He'll rent you out part of his room. I guess certainly would, uh, if a Jew did it, great. Rashi talks about a case of a guy that works for a guy. So too, Allah so far. They can rent. If you need to rent, you rent from a guy. So when you have a case, I'll just grab any of these. Let's say I have a bunch of people living over here, and they made an Erev together. One of them could go be the, the messenger, the shliach, to go to the other chotzer. One could do the Erev for all of them. In other words, they already put the Erev, they already have an Erev, they could already carry within their chotzer. Now they want to have Rishos to carry from chotzer to chotzer. There's two chotzeres here. Within their chotzer, everything is great. But from chotzer to chotzer, so he picks up the Eruv that everybody put it, and he, without doing anything else, you don't have to add to it, nothing. Pick it up, bring it to the next Chatzar, now everybody can carry from Chatzar to Chatzar. One guy does it for everybody. So Echanami, Chamisha Shurim B'Chatzar Echatz, Echatz Soicher Aidei Kulon. So too, when it comes to Schiros, renting, one guy does the deal with the guy, and he rents it from him, and everything is great. What? No. Yeah. Says the Gemara, so wait a minute. Um, Taiba Rebbe Elazar. Taiba Rebbe Elazar. 
So Reb Lazar had a problem with this. Or Reb Zeira matei the Reb Lazar. What's his problem? Omer Av Sheishas. Gavar Rabbi Reb Zeira lo yoda matei the Reb Lazar. I don't understand. Such a great person, Reb Zeira doesn't know what Reb Lazar was bothered by. Kokashilei the Shmuel Rabbi. His problem was with Shmuel. Doma Shmuel. So let me show you what I did here real quickly. I don't know if you guys can see this from that far. But basically there's three very simple rules. The, the Lashen is a little hard and we're going we're gonna to explain it. So the, initially we're just going to say the words, and, but then the Gemara goes into each one, very simple. The first Allah is, Oisrim Umarvim in blue. Oisrim Umarvim. In a case where each person answers on the other, if they're in the sharing of Chatzar, they ruin it for each other, and they can make an Eruv, then there's a case of Bittal. We're discussing the halachas of Bittal. When can you relinquish property to somebody else? When can't you? Relinquish. Mivatlim. The case is Chatzar lefnim Chatzar. We're going to explain it better, we're just going over it quickly. There's a chatzar behind another chatzar. You can't get out of the back chatzar unless you walk through the front chatzar. That's chatzar, that's in purple. And in that case, you have bitl, bitl. You have a lot of bimavatl. Why? Because that's the only way to, to, to carry now. You have to do a bitl. We'll explain. Next halacha, says Shmuel. Marvim vein oisrim. In a situation where you can make an eruv, but they don't answer on each other because they're not locked in, like in the first case where the back guy is locked in and he has to walk through the front. What's the case? The chutz are side to side. They could both walk out directly from their chutz or into the rabbin, but they share an opening. So in that case, you cannot do bitl. Why? The idea is you can only do bitl and give up your property on Shabbos and say, hey, I, Eli Stefanski, can giving up my house on Wallen to Yosem and Zeb. I can only do that when I'm forced to do it. But since I have an opening into Rishus Rabbim, I'm not forced to do it, so I, don't, I can't do it. And the same applies to the last halacha, Oisrim ve Marvim. It's just a flip. Marvim ve Oisrim. Oisrim ve Marvim. They ask on each other, they can't make an Eruv. What's the case? And that's what we're searching for. This is the case that we're talking about, and that is that a guy shows up on Shabbos. Our case. In that case, a Mevatlam. There's no Bittal. Says Shmuel. We said yesterday, according to Rabbi Yochanan, there is Bittal. First, you rent from him on Shabbos, and then you do Bittal. But the third halacha that Shmuel is going to teach us is that you cannot do Bittal from a guy. So let's see it inside. Kokashile, two, four, six, eight, nine lines from the bottom. Kokashile to Shmuel Rabbi. What was bothering Rabbi Lazar? Three halachas that is Rebbe Shmuel said, and one of them is, is a major, major problem which the Gemara has no answer to. It's a problem. Dama Shmuel, in other words, Shmuel argues the Rebbe Dama Shmuel. Kal Mokim Sha'isrim. When one person makes it also on another person to carry in the Chatzar, um Arvim, and therefore I can make an Eruv, what's the halacha? Mevatlin. Then I could do bitl. And that's the only case I could do bitl in, according to Shmuel. Second case. Ma'arvin ve'inoisrin, what if I can make an Eruv with my buddy? But if I don't make an Eruv, I don't answer on him, and he doesn't answer on me. I just want to make an Eruv. Or, case number three. Oisrin ve'in ma'arvin. I can, I answer on my buddy, but I cannot make an Eruv on, with him. And that we're going to say is the case of a guy showing up on Shabbos. Ein mevatlin, there's no halach of bittel. I cannot be mafkir or whatever you want to call it on Shabbos, my property, and say, hey, here's my property. It's for you to have on Shabbos so that we can make an Arab. I can't do that in these two cases. Now the Gemara explains. In any situation where I ask on you, however, I can make an Arab with you, then I'm a vato. What's the case? Here, we had this from yesterday. Back chotzer, front chotzer. The only way to get from the back to the front, to the Rosh Hashanah down here, is to walk through and through. Maybe I have to move over. Here, let's move over a little bit. 
You ready, Yosef? Let's do a move. Because I'm getting a glare on Zoom, so maybe on YouTube also. Okay. No better even. Mm, okay, that's better. Walk through and through. Okay. So in that situation, the back guys ruin it from the front guys. They have Drisas Regal over here. They could walk through. And therefore, the only way to get out of it is to make an Eruv. They forgot to make an Eruv. So now on Shabbos, it's completely ruined. Their Shabbos is off. They can't do anything. So then I say, okay, let's make Bittel. That's the Mevatel. What's the other case? Marvin Vein Oyser. In a situation they can make an Eruv, but they don't Aser it on each other. It's not necessarily Aser. A Mevatel. Here's the case. So we have two chatseris, one, two, but there's a door, there's an opening, a gate between the two. They could go, but they don't need to. So what they could do is they could go out from here, out from here. If they have an air of air of by themselves, they don't have an air of together. No one has to be about the resource. It's not a, it's not an emergency. They could go to Rosh Hashanah, they go around on Shabbos, everything is great. <clears throat> but what's the third case? That the ass are on each other, and there's no possibility to make an Erev, and in that case, why? What's the case? We're talking about a guy. In other words, in this case, Bittal doesn't help. You can't be Mevatl, you can't do anything. But what's the case? If the guy showed up on Friday, let them rent on Friday. So we have to say he didn't show up on Friday. When did he show up? He showed up today on Shabbos. That's exactly our case that we had yesterday of the, the, the Talmidim were in the inn and the guy showed up on Shabbos. And what does Shmuel hold? So turning to the Af, Samach Vavon Beis, L'schus, Mark Steinberg's son, Yitzchok Pesach Yehuda ben Meir Yosef. Just last night, Abbe Farkovitz told me that he has a shidduch. I hope he works on it. <coughs> he said he has to do it before the end of the month. It's only before the end of the month. And schus Yiddishkeit, and schus for uh, anonymous, by anonymous, that's talking Yiddishkeit, and it's schus for his family to be Torah Jews. And Allah does some shops. So the guy showed up on Shabbos, and I want to rent it on Shabbos. Victani, oisrim ve'ein ma'arvim, In a case where the Jews answer each other, ve'ein ma'arvim, and you cannot make an eruv. Why can't you make an eruv? The guy is here. A mevatlin. There's no bittul. Shmamina. So in fact, Shmuel holds. There's no bittul when a guy shows up on Shabbos, and he argues on Rebbe and says. There is Bittal. Zog the Gemara. Amr Rav Yosef. Lo Yishem Ali Ha Shmaitza. I found it in Masech Tasevin five times. But I don't know. There's many different Lashonis, I think, that it comes in. So I don't know. I don't know if I did the proper search. But I know. I remember we had it many times. The Rav Yosef forgot his learning. And every single time it's a bio that reminds him. Rabbi Yosef says, I don't know what you're talking about. When, when, when did Shmuel say this halacha? That if you live in a chatzar, behind a chatzar, this case right over here, chatzar lefinim a chatzar, that you mevatel rishos, you can mevatel rishos, where do you see such a thing? The inner guy relinquishes his rishos to the outer guy. Mechitesa. I don't remember such a thing, right? Yosef is a Talmud of a Talmud of Shmuel. You should have known this. Omele Abayo says Abayo, Ata Martin Halon, you told it to us specifically, straight out. You told us this halacha. In the name of Shmuel, not only that, imagine to be Abayo, like on the spot, Rebbe says something, you, not only you remember, you remember in what context it was, and I'll tell you exactly, I'll remind you exactly what it was. Here's where it was. Domar Shmuel. 
We just finished saying these three halachas from Shmuel. One, two, three. And now the Gemara is going to bring another two halachas from Shmuel. Loading, loading up with the halachas from Shmuel. Ein bitl rishus mechotzel lechotzel. I cannot be mevatel my property to you who lives in a different chotzer. You live next door to me. I cannot, I can be mevatel to people within my chotzer, but not to another chotzer. Ve'ein bitl rishus b'churva. Churva, very nice picture from Kol Alashon. Here's a churva, a rundown house in between two houses. So I cannot make a bitl and this guy will make a bit, and then we could kind of shear this thing and go from one to the other. This is a problem. It's a very similar halacha to ein bitl rishus mechatzel chatzer. I cannot be mevatel to another chatzer. This is like another chatzer. Ve'in bitl rishus bechur ve'amis alon ala ve'amarto alon ala ve'amarto alon ala and you explain to us, Rav Yosef, you explain to us, to Abaya, when did you say you cannot be mevatel one chotzer to another chotzer? That's only in the case where two chotzer is side by side and there's an opening between them. And in fact, the is going to go with this shita later on when he argues with the Rava. I guess he heard it from Rav Yosef. He goes with this. They're side by side. But if they're back to back with each other, this guy's locked in. There's a landlock here. Since he's stuck, he has no way out. Then I could do bitol. So that's similar to the svar that we said before. When there's a way out, this side by side, and each one has an exit into the rishus rabbim. No bitol. But when you're landlocked, and the only way out is this way, then there is bittel. Omale, sir of Yosef tells Abaya, wait a minute, that's what I told you. It doesn't make sense that I told you such a thing. I know I mean Mishmei the Shmuel Achi. Vama Shmuel, ain't lono be'er even elokil shayin Mishnah seinu. Shmuel set a rule that you have to be medayik in a Mishnah. You can only learn halachas that say exactly in the Mishnah. And what does it say in the Mishnah? Later on, in, in two, three daf, in daf samach tesem is based. Anshei chotzer v'loi anshei chatzeros. The Mishnah says the words anshei chotzer. That's it. Says Rav Yosef, it doesn't say anshei chatzeros. It's talking about one chotzer, one chotzer. If this is the chotzer, I can be mivat rishos. Not two chatzeros back to back. Back to back doesn't work. It's a nice deal. I have to learn. In that Mishnah is discussing Bittu Rishos, and it says Mefurish in the Mishnah, one Chatzar. Singular, not plural, not Chatzarois. Omar Lehi says Abayo, <laughs> once again, photographic memory. This halacha that you said in the name of Shmuel, then over here, even. Mishnah Seinu, then in Mesech the Seir, you have to be very makbid exactly what the Mishnah says. Aha, Martlon. On a completely different Mishnah. Also in this parrot, later on. This is a locha, famous halacha that we mentioned all the way from the beginning of the Mesechta. That when you have a Mavoy, you need two Chatzeroys going into the Mavoy, and each Chatzer has two Batim. Every Chatzer has two houses, and every Mavoy has two Chatzeroys. But that's a special halacha that Shmuel says. Be medayik in that Mishnah exactly. Nothing else. He wasn't talking about the Mishnah of Samach Tesom Beis. The Mishnah of Samach Tesom Beis, you're not medayik. It says it in singular. Maybe the Mishnah also meant plural. No shaykhes. It's not a general rule in Mesechtas Eruvin that you have to be medayik exactly like the Mishnah. It was one specific Mishnah in the Ayin somewhere. That's it. Zog to Gemar Gufa. Gufa Amar Shmuel, Ein bitl rishus mechotzer lechotzer. Yeah, we just learned that you cannot be mevatel rishus from one chotzer to another chotzer. So if I live with my buddies over here, here's a bunch of houses. 
I could be mevatel, if I forgot my Eruv, I could give up my house and give it to him. But I cannot give up my house and give it to this guy in the other Chatzar. He's one Chatzar removed. I can't do that. Vein bitu rishus b'churva. And there's no bitu rishus, we said, when there's ruins between the houses. Rabbi Yochanan Omar, yes, bitu rishus b'chatzal chatzar, it's not true. I can mevatel, once I say I can mevatel from one chatzar to the other chatzar, l'chayre also, v'yesh bitu rishus b'churva, I can also be mevatel, we could be mevatel to each other, the ruins, and we could carry it from one house to the other. Utsricha. Even though they're very similar halachas, we, they're both needed. The Ashmi'ina mechatzer lechatzer. If I only said the halacha of chatzer lechatzer, Baka Meshmuel, that's where Shmuel says there's no bittel. Meshum dot Ashmi'ish lechot, vad Ashmi'ish lechot. Each chatzer has its own usage. And Meichetais, I can be mevat or shos to one chatzer to the other chatzer. Avol churva dot Ashmi'ish lechadel letarvayu, but the churva. You see this guy? He's smack in the middle. He serves the same purpose for both guys. It's not like you can't take, he only serves one thing, whatever he serves. He's not two different things. Maybe Shmuel agrees that yes, bitl. No, there's no bitl. And then we just reverse that. And I only say by a churva. That is one bitl, that there is a bitl. Why? Because it's one tashmish, one usage. But in the case of two chatzeros, maybe he agrees to Shmuel that ain't bittel, because it's two different usages. That's why we have the two cases. This that Shmuel said before, and we had it, that there's no bittel, you cannot be mevatel from one chatzer to the other. In this particular case, when the chatzeros are side by side, and there's an opening between the two, but they still have access to the Shusarabim. Beautiful picture from the Masifta, from Ezra Hadar. They have access. Avol shtei chatzeroi zu lefnim zu. But when the chatzeroi's are back to back, and the guy in the back is stuck, the only way you can get to the Shusarabim is through the chitzayna. Mitoch shayisur mevadam. Then we have the the concept. That since he's stuck and there's no way out of it, it's it's an emergency. You could do bittul rishos. Does he have a normal easement? No, he has an easement, and that goof is what creates a problem here. That's why the inner guy ruins it for the outer guy. That's exactly the reason because he has easement. Says the Gemara, Rav Amar, no. So I buy like I, I don't know if this is the the reason, but I buy heard this from Rabbi Yosef. And Rav Yosef explained it in Shmuel, and that's why he's saying it over, maybe. Rav Amar, no. Afidu shtei chatzeri zulif nimezu. The halacha that you cannot do bitter rishos is even when the guy is stuck in the back. Pamei mevatlim, pamei mevatlim. But sometimes you can do bitter, sometimes not. Ketzad. And this is going to take us to the end of the Amod. Nasno eruvim bachitzo, you know? If they took... Rashi explains, like what I explained before, you make one Eruv in one Chatzar. Each guy, there's five guys, let's say, each guy puts a loaf of bread. So now I have five loaves of bread in a basket. And now they decide they want to use the other Chatzar. They want to be able to carry from Chatzar. This is a Simcha. They want to go from one Chatzar to the other Chatzar. One guy lifts up the basket, takes the entire basket, brings it from Chatzar A, places it in Chatzar B, without adding a roll, without adding anything, and now... A could go to B, B could go to A. Shalom Yisrael. Nasnu eruvim b'chitzoyna v'shochach echod bein menapnimis u'bein menachitzoyna v'lo yerav. So here's the picture. I added a few blue lines here. Here's the inner chotzer. Here's the outer chotzer. The Eruv is the red dot, the red dot. And these guys, the blue lines, are the Eruv. Everybody participated in the Eruv, besides the guy with the X on his house. This guy, there's no blue line going from his house to the Eruv. Here's a blue line, here's a blue line, here's a blue... 
There's four blue lines, there's five houses. Six houses, how many? Five. No area from here to here. Where does he live? What? My sound is off. Ellie, you hear me? Avi Mendelbaum, you hear me? Avigdor, you hear? Everybody hears. Ah, yeah, you know why I didn't, because I, I muted you guys. Because, uh, okay, go ahead, sorry. Anytime, anytime I don't know the sugi well, I just mute you guys, pretend I don't hear you, so there's no cash, just go right there. <laughs> Skim right through it. We're gonna, we have extra time now, what do you guys want to do? How's the striking this year, huh? It's good? Okay, great. Okay. Um, no, what happened was I, I didn't know that Gary, I, I thought Gary was nuts, I just muted everybody. I figured let, let you guys fight it out, and I, I don't need to hear you, but then I forgot to put you back on, sorry. Okay, so we're holding over here. So this is an inner guy for God the Eruv. Here's the same exact case. The Eruv is in the same place. There's an inner and an outer. But the guy that forgot the Eruv is an outer guy. Not this guy over here forgot, but this guy over here forgot. It's the same story, just depends who forgot the Eruv. Okay, that's why in Kol HaShon, it's on one picture. So, Nosnu Eruvim Bachitzoyna. They put the Eruv in the outer Chotzer, Veshochach Echod, and one house forgot an Eruv. Beimena Pnimis. It doesn't matter if he's an inner house, or Beimena Chitzoyna, he's an outer Chotzer house. Velo Eruv. Shteyen Asurois. They are usher and there's no bittel now. You cannot do bittel. Bittel won't help. I can't say, oh, since this guy forgot his Eruv, let's just all be mevatel and everything is good. No. Nos no Eruv in Similar case. But the placement of the Eruv, the red dot, is the inner chotzer. V'shochach echod min ha-pnimis Eruv. An uh, uh, inner guy forgot to place his Eruv. Shtei Masurois. Again, Bittul doesn't help over here. Shochach echol menachit because you have Drisas Regal here. It's a problem. They're going through, they have easement, and a guy, I forgot to mention, the Rashi keeps on saying that we had a machloikas the other day between Rabbi Kim and Rabbanon, if the the guy, the guy that has the right to walk, could he ask on somebody? Rashi says this whole suit goes even according to Rabbanon. The the inner guy, even if he has the right to walk, what's his lashon here? Rabbanon Maida, that even though since he's also to walk, then he, he answers for everybody, even according to Rabbanon. So it's not dafka, the sugi doesn't dafka go according to Rebbe Kiva. Fine. If one of the outer guys didn't do the Eruv, Pnimis Muteres Vechitzoyna Asura. So, in this case, where this guy forgot to make the Eruv, so what's the case again? They placed the Eruv in the inside Chatzar. Here's the inside chotzer. Here's the outside chotzer. The guy in the outside forgot to place his eruv. So the the these guys are mutter. They're allowed to carry the chitzay nasura. So this is what Rav is saying here. Rav is saying that these guys are mutter only when the outer guys did bittel. This is a case of bittel. Again, they placed the Eruv in the inner Chatzar. Everybody was Mishtatif in the Eruv, besides one guy in the front Chatzar, in the Chitzayna, closer to the Rosh Hashanah. So what happens is, he, he has to be Mavatal as Rishos, and then the inner guys could carry. 
So now the Gemara just explains. We're going to go through case by case. If they place the Erev in the outer one, they place the Erev, this case, in the outer one, and either an inner guy or an outer guy forgot the Erev, there's no Bittal. Why is there no Bittal? Because Let's say the inner guy, let's talk about this case right over here. The inner guy forgot. It's a Pneemi guy that forgot. So who is he going to be Mevatel's Rishas to? The battle of Nepneem is, let's say he goes, he's Mevatel to his friends, the inner guys. Let's say the Revai go by you. Then where's the Erev? Rabbi said, look where the Erev is. The Erev is on the outer Chater. Who forgot the Eruv? The guy in the, in, the, in the inside. So who is he going to be Mevatel's Rishas to? Who is he giving up his house to? To his buddies that live right next door to him. Great. And they don't have an Eruv. Because the Eruv is in the front, not in the back. Oh. Uh, so, let him take his house and give it over to the guys in the front. And then everybody can carry that's what Shmuel's halacha was before. I cannot give up my house to a guy that lives in a different chatzah. I can only give it up to a guy that lives with, with me. And if I give it up to a guy with me, I don't have an Erev anymore. If I give it up to a guy outside, I can't. Next. Let's say it wasn't the guy inside that forgot. It's the guy on the outside, the second case. The Erev is on the outer chatzah. And one of the outer guys forgot his Erev. So who should the outer guy be mevatel there to? Lebatel ben echitzoyin. It makes sense. Let him do it to his buddies. Ikaprim is the other alayu. Now, now you have the, the concept of regular oiseres. This guy has drisas regal. What was the lashon you used? The Yosef. He has the easement over here. He has drisas regal. The inner guy can walk through, and he ruins it for the outer guy. So it's not going to help him to be mevatel rishus to the outer guy. Elamai. Let him give up his house and give it as a present to the inner guys. Again, Next case. No, it's not even about But what if they put their, they place the Erov on the inside, by the inside guy. And the inner, one of the inner guys forgot. Over here, Bittal doesn't help. Again, who should the inner guy be mevatel rishus to? The battle of bnei pnimis. If he gives it to his buddies, what the erev is inside. These guys don't have an erev. They're gonna answer the inside. The battle bnei chitzayna. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna be chachamim and give it over to the outer guys. So once again, there's no bittul from one chazer to another chazer. What if they placed the, the, the Erev, still, same case, they placed it in the inside, but the outer guy forgot, this house didn't, there's no blue line from this house, you see? There's no Erev. The inner guys, they're all good. Why? The inner guys, they're all good. Why? They could slam the door shut between them. They have an Erev. And they're good. Why? What's going on here? So Rashi says, the concept of the tekuni shedartich v'leila avusei. I could say, I only made an Erev to help me, not to ruin it for me. I have an Erev with my guys and my, my chatzah. I wanted to be mishatif you. You guys messed up. One of you guys wasn't was mishatif. Don't ruin it for me. I have a good thing going. I'm going to close the door. I have no connection to you. Oh. The chitzoy nasuro. And Memelo, the outer guys are also. But over here, Rav is going to have to agree that what? What's the point that we're looking for the whole time? Don't forget the main point. You have to do Bittal. The outer guy still has to do Bittal for the inner guy. And then he says, the these two things together, the Tekunish Adatich and Bittal, the inner guys could use their Erov. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Have a wonderful evening. With that bitful, the outer guys cannot use it. What? With that bitful, the outer guys cannot use it.
Yeah. That other guy still cannot use it. Still cannot use it with the bittel. I cannot believe I, I, I'm seeing Mendy Auerbach bringing back such good memories. Ah, ah, Mendel, what's going on? And Simon Cohen also. Someone I haven't seen you in a while, Simon. What's going on? You're around, you're around, you're biking. What are you doing? Who's davening outside? Yo, Bergman. Where are you, yo, Bergman? I, I was looking forward to coming back to Chicago, seeing you. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, uh, okay, okay, I'm unmuted now. I said, yo, Kona, yo, yo, Bergman, I can't believe, I can't believe you didn't come to share. I was so looking forward. Where are you? I'm home. Ay, 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 Tomorrow, tomorrow? What do you mean? Oh, so Bar Hashem, I forgot to mention, I, I, I have permits to get back, um, to, to leave Monday, next, um, a week from today. Uh, I'm sorry, a week from yesterday, or, yeah. 